we really don't prepare most college faculty to be good instructors in that sense. It hadn't, it hadn't dawned on me until I had the good fortune for the most part of having that. It hadn't dawned on me until he said that. That's, sure, absolutely. Um, Dr. Weinstein, what, what can you suggest? Well, uh, let me add something to that. He's sure. quite right that we don't train people to teach. And we also never spell out that the, the job of an educator is to teach you how to think, not what to think. So yeah. the fact that somebody at the front of the room happens to have a perspective that they hold dear shouldn't mean that they are attempting to transmit it to students uh, wholesale. They should give them the tools to evaluate for themselves. Unfortunately, what we are seeing is the result of the politicization of of the commons, effectively. And I, I suspect that that's the result of two things, which is that people do not feel well represented by the governance apparatus, and of the fact that they feel uh, a threat of austerity, which is causing them to be tribal. So if you really want to address this problem, people have to understand that they have more to gain by uh, being patriotic together than by fighting each other for scraps. And I, I can't see a way around this. The First Amendment is simply not sufficient to protect the free exchange of ideas in the private sector. It's not sufficient to protect it on college campuses that don't happen to be public. And it's actually not especially useful on public campuses where it doesn't deal with issues like censorship or self-censorship.